When I talk to lots of entrepreneurs about developing their brand, they get confused with their logo. So I'm talking about a brand, they're talking about a, a two-dimensional device that they want to put on their website or their product. They're, they are very, very different things and it's important you understand the difference between a brand, which is a much bigger project, than, than developing a logo. A brand is far more than something that you burn onto the side of your livestock with an iron, which is where that term comes from. Your brand reflects your, your company's values, your vision, and to some extent in a small company, it'll be your personality, but very much the personality of the business you want to create, which might be very different to your personality. It depends upon how consciously you develop and put together your brand and how you develop it. Importantly, your brand is very much the, the personality of your business. So if you consider for a moment a, a person that you really don't like for lots of different reasons, you don't understand the way they think, the way they look, the way they dress, or what they say or what they do, and if they have a great product or service that you would quite like to get your hands on to, you're probably going to be reticent or think twice about buying it from them. In fact, you may not buy it from them at all. You will do your best to try and buy it from somebody else. And that is how powerful a brand can be. If people don't like your brand, uh, they won't buy from you. Strong brands can develop lifetime relationships with their customers. And increasingly, it's really important to create a brand that's authentic. It's very hard these days with you know more savvy customers to get away with creating a brand as a marketing ploy. It doesn't really reflect the, the product or the service you deliver and the way in which you communicate and interact with your customers. It's just false. You'll be found out very, very quickly. David Ogilvy, the founder of Ogilvy & Maver, who's known as a father of advertising, he said that a brand is a sum of a product attributes. So the brand is very much is part of your product. It's outwards facing. And if a brand's extremely successful, it can become generic. So vacuum cleaners became, you know, they're called Hoover. Um, Google is now a verb. So you can see that a brand can create a relationship with somebody that can last a lifetime. It can be something that's even passed on to their children. Think about the brands that are important to you, the brands that you associate yourself with and that you engage with every day. And if not, think generically. Think of car brands. What does the thought of Ford conjure up compared to Aston Martin or Lamborghini or even water? Compare Perrier water to Fiji to smart water. What do they mean to you? And what kind of personalities do they conjure up in your mind? Because that's how you engage with brands. And it's a lot more than the logo that they've stuck on this side of each of those products. In fact, if you think about brands and the thoughts and feelings and emotions they conjure up, you may not actually be able to picture in your mind the actual logo. In the next lesson, I'll cover how you develop a brand, but it's important at this stage to understand that your brand is much more than your logo. Your logo will evolve and it will be developed from the work and energy and effort, perhaps even money, that you put in developing your brand.